What's up, everybody? Professional wrestler Chris Wild back with another video on Eagles News Now, just hours away. And actually, it's getting down to minutes away from today's big game against the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh, the Eagles' first game where there will be live fans in attendance. Um, look, guys, this one's going to be a short one because I'm telling you, this is going to be a very, very hard game. This is probably the best team that the Eagles have faced, definitely the best defense that the Eagles have faced, and that's going to cause big problems for this makeshift offensive line. I'm very interested to see certain things. Let's talk about what the Steelers do really well. Well, talking about defense, they play that 3-4, and they play it absolutely awesomely. Bud Dupree, TJ Watt, they've been talked about all week long, and for good reason. TJ Watt's actually on the cover of Sports Illustrated uh, as we speak. Um, these guys are absolutely awesome. Bud Dupree is going to be working up against Jordan Maialata. I'm very interested to see how that goes. That'll be a big sign of seeing exactly what Jordan Maialata has. But they're going to come at Carson Wentz. They're going to come at him fast. The Steelers blitz almost 60% of the time. That is huge. And one of the reasons why this is an undefeated football team at 3-0. They had that weird bye week because of uh, the Titans and COVID-19. Um, so they're definitely healthy and ready to play. Uh, also, their secondary, very, very good. Again, probably the best secondary the Eagles have played with Joe Hayden and Mitzah Fitzpatrick. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough. As we know, the Eagles wide receivers, you're, you're talking about practice squad guys and rookies besides Greg Ward. So, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be tough um, for them to do anything on offense. As far as the Pittsburgh offense goes, they have an awesome running back. And James Conner, a guy that the Eagles could have drafted um, from the area, actually. Uh, and Big Ben Roethlisberger, man. Um, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And he gets the ball out really, really quickly. Um, so the Eagles are going to have to find a way to remedy that. Now, as far as what the Eagles do, well, this defensive line has played absolutely awesome. Almost as awesome, if not better, than the Steelers' defensive line. And they're going to have to keep that up. As I just said... Ben Roethlisberger gets the ball out quick, so Jim Schwartz is going to have to come up with some creative things to do, uh, and as we know, I'm not a big Jim Schwartz guy. Um, he is not very creative. He did show some things last week that we haven't seen in a while, and he's going to have to do that this week as well. Um, I'm thinking Kevon Wallace, rookie safety, uh, has, was awesome at blitzing and Clemson. Maybe they kind of um, send him a couple times today. Also, uh, as we have a warning you can hear emergency warning um in the background uh <laughs> also as far as the philadelphia eagles go um on offense i feel like i say this every week miles sanders is going to have to have a big day you're gonna have to be with the steelers defense blitzing and trying to take carson wentz's head off you're gonna have to find a running game and stick to the run and miles sanders he is a very very capable running back as a, he could be great. I'm not ready to say he's great right now. In my mind, he's above average. Um, and above average Miles Sanders is going to have to be great Miles Sanders today in order for the Eagles to have any chance of getting a victory. Again, keep an eye on the Eagles' offensive line, see what they do. This D-line, if they can just cause some turnovers like they did last week, um, the Eagles will at least have a shot. And when I speak about turnovers, that's one thing the Eagles can't do. They have done it every game so far. Carson Wentz cannot have these little weird interceptions, these balls being deflected at the line. They've got to find a way to cut that out because you're not facing a backup 49er team as you were last week. Um, you're facing starters and a healthy bunch of them uh, in Pittsburgh. So the turnovers are going to have to stop. If the Eagles have any chance um, of winning this game, and, and when the Eagles actually have more turnovers than the team they're facing, I think they're like 25-3 and three or something crazy like that under Doug Peterson. Another guy, the last guy I want to talk about before we get out of here, guys, Boston Scott has not done anything at all this season. As we're talking about the running game and getting Miles Sanders involved, why not get the Boston Scott that you had last year? Um, you know, the, the guy that can run past defenders, the guy that's hard to find because he's so small. Um, the Darren Sproles like Boston Scott. Uh, I would love to see him show up in this game, and I feel like he's going to have to, again, in order for the Eagles to have a shot. Now, as far as my prediction goes, I'm going to do like last week. I'm not giving any score. 
I just don't expect the Eagles to win this game. I have not seen them. Obviously, they only have one win, and it was against a really banged up 49ers team with two backup quarterbacks. Uh, until I can see this team play really well against a really good team, I cannot predict them to win against a team like the Steelers. I just can't do it, guys. Hopefully, it's a good game. Hopefully, it's not a blowout. Um, and hopefully, you know, it's at the end of the day, a good three hours, and we learn a little bit something more about this Philadelphia Eagles team um, as we creep into the middle of this season. And look, the NFC East is absolutely horrible. The Cowboys play the Giants. I, I expect them to, to win that game. Washington plays L.A., uh, the L.A. Rams, that is. Um, I expect the Rams to defeat them. So if by some miracle the Eagles can pull away with this one, it will do a lot for them in the NFC East, guys. Everybody enjoy the game. Um, live updates from me, as always, as well as a live video at the end of the game. Win or lose, uh, keep track and subscribe to Eagles News now. Stay safe, stay healthy, go Birds, and I'll see you guys later. Eagles!